market high wage. We have done many things, discussed many things, and you will have doubts and questions. Now I am focusing on this training program. This training program, you must produce a test. You must produce a test. I am here tomorrow also with you. So I am going to give you some assignment. So that the objectives of this orientation program are complete. It is not about theory. So much theory has been discussed. What examination? You know that examination is looking at a person or different abilities, problems. We, we examine, doctor examines the patient. The patient goes to doctor for some reason. So you are a teacher, you will send your, you are a doctor actually. So you will like to know about your students. Yes? Yes. That is the examination. Then, the next term was data. What is data? Yes. You get many tests conducted. In our student vocational education, we want to examine our students whether they have acquired the abilities that are the aim of the vocational program. The aim of the vocational program is different from the aim of a school education. <coughs> Agreed? Yes, we are conducting vocational education for a different purpose. Therefore, the examination of this should be different from what happens in a normal high school. Any disagreement on this? Our focus is different. We are not measuring the knowledge. Because knowledge is not sufficient, we are measuring the abilities of our training, abilities of our students after we have instructed them. Yes? Not theory knowledge. Theory knowledge may be part, but our focus is on the abilities. And the world used all over the country and all over the world for abilities is the competence. <coughs> sir, one thing has been blocked out, sir. One thing has been blocked out. Our job is to develop competence. Abilities, not given theoretical knowledge only, not given practical knowledge only, but total of everything. Therefore, we begin with what is a competency. It is an ability. Yes, a competent driver, a competent doctor, a competent tailor, a competent car magnetic. Think of these persons. We will not certify them just because they are good in story. They have to perform. Therefore, competence has three components. Three major components. One is, he must know this subject. Theoretical knowledge. He must know some properties, some definitions, some formula, some processes, that is in his mind, he must know that. A car driver <coughs> must know the symbols written on the roads, right turn, left turn, down, hospital, go slow, go, fast things are overtake. The doctor must know certain parts of the body. Compounder must know the use of injections, the use of bandages, 
something that's safety, hygiene, these are things which you should know. But it is not necessary that if he knows it, he will also apply it. Agree? Yes, I may know many things, but I, I may not apply it. Therefore, he must have skills also. And he must also have proper attitude. These three things together is a competence. We develop competence by conducting theory examination, knowledge, by conducting practical examination skills, and by developing proper attitudes towards a profession. If you are in a hotel industry, you must have proper attitude for hygiene, cleanliness. If you are a compounder, you must have proper attitude for handling a person. Back down. Sit down. I will give you injection. He is half dead. Then you put him such a big injection. And you must inject. No. Attitude is. Sorry. Make him come back. Nothing will happen to you. Don't bother. Just with a smile and in one second it is over. These are the things of attitudes. When the injection needle ensure, he ensures that it is cleaned properly with his spirit, <coughs> not with water. And he is using gloves. In the kitchen also he is using gloves. In most of the hotels here, here Love, they have not seen what is in them. If you want to buy some, some samosa, they will pick it by dirty hands and give it to you. This is the matter of attitude. If you are working in teams, two or three persons who are doing wiring, your relationship, cooperation with other persons is a matter of attitude. Right? So, development of competency is a combination of theory, practical, and execution. I gave you an example of a pilot. Theory is not a good. Practicals are also important. Skills are also And attitudes are also important. He must have a concern for the lives of the passenger like our passenger. Concern for quality, concern for safety. These are the examples of good attitudes. In vocational education, we are focusing on this. And therefore, we are making tests to test knowledge, to test practical skills, and test attitudes. That is the total, total summary of assessment. We are designing tests to measure, collect data through tests, assess, and then evaluate, provide guidance, provide decisions based on that. That was the background in which I wanted to give you all that is important. Any questions? Please ask questions. Sir, actually, it is a blooming theory. Hmm? Blooming theory. Bloom's text He is dead. Five years dead. Now, another Bloom is standing before you. Don't bother around definitions, personalities. Our job is to create tests. Whether we use Bloom or we use Groundland or we use even is important. Bloom taxonomy is one of the taxonomies. There are 10 different taxonomies. If I start teaching those taxonomies, you will all be confused. You will be confused. My job is a practical job. I don't care what Bloom has said. I care for our environment. Bloom is 
long time there. He has done a research which has followed all over the world. Yes, sir, no. There was another person who wrote down objectives. Everywhere you saw objectives. Everywhere. All books will start at the end of the lesson. You should be able to. One, two, three, four. That was a suggestion given by. But we don't follow anything blindly. We look at our students, look at our situation, our resources, and do whatever we can. Agreed? Yes, Don't bother what Newton has said or what X Mr. Y has said. What I will do is on my common sense and my knowledge, which is useful to my students. Your students are different. I am a practical man, dirty I am a genius, dirty hand man. Unless you make your hands dirty, you cannot do any skill. So knowledge skills and aging. These are the three things which will define a competence or abilities. Therefore, skills. There are many skills. Don't get confused by the word skills. It is a fashionable word used everywhere nowadays in vocational education without a clear definition. I'm looking for a definition of a skill which is applicable in our country. I'm not able to find out a definition which is which is absolutely correct, which covers everything. For example, there are leadership skills. Yes? There are accounting skills. There are negotiating skills. There are marketing skills. So many skills you write down. Every job is skill. Every job is written skill. Ah, communication is skill. Communication is skill. I'm not dealing with all those skills. I am dealing with those skills which are using which are not even doing that on thing. They are part of our curriculum. We are not teaching them to become leaders. Unfortunately, in India, the problem is. There are more leaders and less followers. <laughs> Everywhere you find a leader, Arakmata, Kija, Vandai, Mantra, Niyo, We don't prepare students for leaders. We, we prepare students to work. To work at a work at some given standards. Yes. Curriculum gives you some standards. These standards are not marks. I am very much against marks. Marks do not mean anything to me. Marks to me do not mean anything. Standards. You define these standards by speaking to the employers. Industries, they will tell you what is the standard. Medical Association will tell you what are the standards for a doctor, for a compounder, for a vaccinator. Electrical standards will be told to you by electricity boards. What is the standard? of performance in anything. Therefore, standards flow from, from the employment and come, come down. Yes? So, when we are focusing our lessons or practicals, we keep in our minds the standards which the students must achieve. Yes or no matter. Either you are competent or you are not yet competent. 
not 90 percent completed. We will not say you are 70 percent completed. I want a shirt to be made. I go to a tailor, first class collar, first class everything, but it is so tight here, it is so tight here that I cannot put it on. All my cloth is wasted, money is wasted, time is wasted. The standard is that he has failed to take my measure max dimension. It is a ability because to take measurement of a human being is very difficult. Some people have this, some people, some people are like this, some are very tall, one has a long length, one has a short length, one has a <coughs> big stomach, one is, has a hollow stomach. The ability to measure is a competence. So the actual competence of you are silent, you are all silent. I want some noise, class me have. There should be some halla gulla in the class. Noise in the class for non religious people. <coughs> if you are chitta dil, if you are live, alive, you must create noise. Kuch clapping ho, kuch halla ho, kuch shiki maro ho. Kuch to ho. Kuch to ho. Do something. Hindi was that. Do something. I am introducing a different word today, the Hindi afternoon session. We are focusing on measuring or assessing competence. Not theory, not skill, but the integration of this. As under the standard, as the given standards which are required standards. These standards come to us from the employment situation in the market. Even if you are selling vegetables, you must have knowledge, you must have skills, measuring, calculating, negotiating, all these things, attitudes, you welcome the customer and to some extent. Agree? So our purpose of teaching in vocational school has changed now. It should change. I have not seen it. Vocational school so far, and you have not invited me. So, my problem is how can I say anything about your students? Now, no questions on this ethic competence center? So, our test that we are making tomorrow is an integrated test. Of knowledge, skills and ethics. I know how to drive a car. Yes, I know. Switch on. Hold on. The steering. Clutch. Accelerator. Yes. I know that. But I cannot drive a car. I have never driven a car. Yes. So no Swimming, for example. I know our today's principle. I know law of rotation. I know density of water. I know temperature. I know pressure. But I cannot swim because I have never gone into the swimming pool or any one. That is the difference between knowing and performing. Competency is about performance, not about knowing. I can drive a car. Provided there is no person on the road, straight it will go. The 
there's no person, no left turn, no right turn, I can go straight. I can drive the car. But will you call it competent? Will you call me a competent driver? No, sir. No, sir. No. no. Lack of attitude. I cannot I cannot afford in a real work situation. Real work situation. I am using three important words. Real work situation. We are training our students for real work situation. Not theory. Competence, that is the ability, is made up of a number of abilities joined together. So I can call them sub competences. Or I think I've not used senior syllabus, but we are good in copying other countries. The British have used the word elements of competence. A competence has a number of abilities. Elements. Yeah. I'll give you an example to explain what I mean by elements of competence. I take the example of welder. Is it all right? Welder. So competence is he should weld pieces of something, something, and make joints and test them for proper performance. They should not be weak. The elements are he must set up the equipment. Yes, cylinder. Oxygen cylinder and second. That is gas welding. Arc welding, he has a transformer, he has electrodes, and then this is one competence, setting of the equipment. The second equipment is selecting the electrodes required, cleaning the surfaces, and making them ready for work. That is the second competence. The third element of competence is actually conducting the process, making joints. This job is not yet over. Fourth is, he must test whether those joints are all right or not. Fifth one element is, if there are any defects in those joint joints, he must remove those defects. The competent person will set up a equipment, select the parts, plugs, Electrode, conduct the process, test the joints, and rectify the effects. One competence has a number of sub competence. Right? Questions? Any questions? I can give you an assignment for tomorrow. You will write, you have different subjects. One competence, any competence for your students based on your syllabus. The whole competence is to explain. Followed by elements of competence. Can you write it down? Yes. 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 Not now. Tomorrow. One competence followed by the elements of competence. <coughs> Simple example: Make a cake for birthday cake for hundred persons. Is this a competence? <coughs> yes. Make a birthday cake for 100 persons. Now, what are the elements of competence? Yeah. Buy all the, get all the materials required for 100 people. The value, quantity should be correct. Then, is it a vegetarian cake or a non vegetarian cake? Will S be used or will S not be used? That is the decision you 
Then you have to select the microbial will you make it on the gas or will you make it on the microwave or or you will make it by some other way. Select the bottom situation. Then you have to do some processing. I, I have not made a case, so I cannot go for that. Some processes, they have to do some mixing, measuring. They are all parts of the process. Then, when it is being made, he keeps an eye that is not over but when the process is going on. <laughs> no? Yes, sir. You know it? Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Tell me. Yes. When they invite a person for a dinner and they are preparing very good dosa or any dish, in between they will take out and yes, yes, sir. This is this is a kind of evaluation. When the process is going on, I am evaluating whether my process is alright or not. In education terms, this is called formative evaluation. When the learning is taking place, things are being formed, I am things are being formed, I am assessing it. Okay? It's not too wet, not too much oil, not too much all the things Potatoes are of the right size, they are not smelling. So, if you can invite me for dosa or maybe dosa tomorrow, so then we can find out. At, at, at the end, then you carry out the process on the power you target. And when the guests come and they say it was a very good meat or a very good dosa, it is also evaluation. But then by a third party, not by you. That is in education done or Okay. 
here? Yes. Now, this notion in the textbook and in the College of Education is formative evaluation is between July, July and March. Every three months you have an evaluation or an internal test every month. They call it a formative evaluation. I do not agree with that. Evaluation every minute is going on. And in your class, you are teaching, you are evaluating whether the objectives or the message that has sent has reached you or not. I am evaluating continuously. So, but I have not put this idea. Because books say, books don't say what I am saying. But I, I feel I am correct. Every five, every minute, every second, formative evaluation is going on. Every second. The summative is like your guest saying, wonderful. Madam, you have made very good food. Please invite us every day. No. We are short of time. You should be here for one month. I was telling him, you should be here for one month to understand the beauty of the subject of evaluation and such. Eight minor, not less than one month. Because we are all conditioned to think evaluation in terms of examination, monthly test, and, and the poor children are, are they start hating the subject. They start hating going to the school because of this examination. That is why I said in the beginning we have two enemies. One of them is the examination. They have they create a fear psychosis in the minds of the children. What will happen? I will give you one example. I had a friend. One example. His son came from the school and shouted, Mummy, Mummy, what happened? I got 95 marks in the class. Sorry, you are a genius. Einstein has been born in my family. Very Go and invite all your friends for the ice cream party in the evening. Then Mummy asked, What were the total marks? So he said 200. <laughs> so he said, no, don't touch the party, we will give some other party. <laughs> <laughs> then, Mummy asked, who got the highest pass? What were the highest pass? 178. Now, look at page 95. And who got the lowest pass? 95. Go and cancel the party. This is examination. Misinterpretation of examination. And that is why I am not happy with whatever has been in Delhi 85% cut off mass, 90%. It is foolish in my my opinion. I am not going to fight with them. They are more powerful. But but I wish you as my friends write articles. This is action research. Action research. There is no session in your time to <coughs> on action research. In orientation program, there must be a session on action research, not on this. There are so many useless topics. My belief is you must have those sessions which will make you a better competent teacher. Competent teachers. Competent teacher does not mean to say I speak in English. Competent teacher means what does it mean? Yes. Yes. Students learn. <laughs> Again, there is no session on learning, I am not talking. Now I am focusing on making tests for so that you can try. In the first attempt, nobody makes a good test. <coughs> I have not seen a good test anywhere in the world which will say I have tested him and this is his. These are his attributes. Till so far, no test has been made. No good test has happened anywhere. 
can never give us faith. No more flesh. Many people have been saved. No more flesh are available. So far, in my opinion. And my second opinion is good flesh cannot be made. American University, the professor says this lady is the brightest. Give her a job. She gets a job. That is the respect of the professor. I, I have observed her for six months in my class. I can vouch for her. There is no better person in, for your industry. No better person. And she is good for research. Don't put her in production. She cannot handle labor. She cannot buy. She is an honest person. She is not corrupt. So don't put, put her in the purchase department. Put her in this way. This is the power of the professor. <coughs> this is the power I want you to develop for yourself. For yourself. Confidence. Yes, I have just judged this boy. So no examination is necessary. No formative, only no summative, only formative. Now we we go into the next step. Tomorrow you are going to take the test. Therefore, I will.
एयरपोर्ट पर चल गई अरे वीडियो वाले एग्जाम में
we are designing a theory test. We have decided a purpose. Now we have to decide what type of questions should we use. Yes. And our session is on object to questions. I am very much in favor of object to questions. My personal choice is for object to questions. There are many advantages yeah. of it. And in our country, all the most of the constitute tests are now objective. Most of the objective means objective manipulation. So, I am talking. Can I get water? Yes, sure. This is a democracy. Anyone can go anytime and come back anytime. No may come in services. Objective questions. Our assignment tomorrow is for objective questions. Here are the very good questions. I will stop. What is an objective question? What question? Subjective question. What is an objective question? That means 
The answer for this question has already been decided by the experts. My father and his sisters and brothers, they had already decided that this shall say whatever is else. There is already an answer, you have to marry her. So objective questions are those whose marking is objective, is not influenced by personal judgment. Not influenced by personal judgment. So there are a number of questions which are called objective questions, not only A, B, C, D. All those questions which can be marred, for example, if there is an objective question, question paper in Chinese, you can mark it. Answers are given to you, you don't have to use your brain. First say, second C, D, and so on. Are you getting my idea? Now this is the definition I want you to throw out in your vocational education system. They are not going to be CD Sir, throw an example of the Sir, the objective type question is in Hindi. 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 Sir, the objective type One, two, three, four, and write four options. 
then the answer is already decided before it. You get the difference? Yes. 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 You must ask. Yes. It is very much clear to you. What is the question? How it is objective by Objective question is objective to poor relation. After syllabus, we put objective to the particular name. Objective question no hai, this is Martin May, personal judgment. This is the first example of personal judgment. This is the first example of but answer is decided before you yes. handwriting when a Monday card is to handwriting. So it's words, token, eyes, small, narrow panel is for. Is 
don't know opinion will come out. So this happens in the asset I pass person, same person. Earlier years they used to be five percent of twenty mass each. Do you remember? Or ten percent of five mass each. So the same answers somebody will give five mass, somebody will give three mass. Whether it is a strict examiner or a lenient examiner, the handwriting is good, all the points are covered. So people have variability. Same answer read by different examiners gave different marks. Many researches have already been conducted on this. The answer books were given. No marking. To you, the same answer book was given to her. And the same answer book was given to her after the day. You gave 40 out of 100, she gave 80 out of 100, and you gave 20 out of 100. This, this type of researches have been conducted. To overcome this problem, that is, there is no first term judgment in Marquis, the aptitude testing came up in the in 1930s. The first multiple choice question came from USA Education Testing Service in 1930. Education Testing Service means popular and GRE and GMAT and G, they conduct these type of terms. That is a research organization. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. We should not have opinions. I have an opinion that the students do not read, they will stop reading multiple choice questions because they can likely sign ABC. Yes, yes. Have you any proof? All over the world, all over the world, multiple choice questions are being used because they encourage decision making. You have to decide. All our orchestra teacher mechanics, they have to take decisions. Should I open the engine? Should I put the solution? Should I do this? Should I tighten the wind? Or what happens if I tighten the wind more? They have to take decisions. Every engineer, every orchestra person has to take decisions. They have to help our children, our instruments. Give a multiple choice test, give a other test, and find out the creativity before before they decide what is creativity. Hey, this is in public. Thank you. Thank you.
how you design particularly in this question because what is the proposed state of uh, objective type question or MCQ or subjective question? Is there any guidelines?
the speed of responding is different. Someone takes two hours to make the dosa, someone takes one hour, 40 minutes. So, slower man is not better, worse than the modern man. There are other considerations also. So, the speed of answering. And I have not yet come to how many questions should be there in the question paper. And how much time should be given to solve that question paper. For example, most of the question papers, if, if the Americans are busy, they are given two to three hours paper. Three hours paper. Next one time. Our Indians also are now given in UPSC, lot of time. So, speed of answering is not important. The accuracy of answering is but they will not give you six hours. So there is an optimum to answer 250 questions. This is the time on which an average student will answer. This is all statistically calculated. We are are we looking for persons who can answer very quickly, or are we looking for persons who will take a normal time to answer? We have not come to the situation because I am going to describe how many questions should be there and how the time should be allotted and what is the effect of multiple choice questions on learning or teaching or etc. That topic can be we will come tomorrow. I mean we are talking only on types of questions, objective questions and non-objective questions. That is the issue. Under discussion now, but I have answered to all the questions that you are asking. I will give you the answer. I will not go home. I will answer all your questions. Anybody's questions. That is why I am I was saying, can you come in the evenings for my promotion? This is a very problem. बहुत प्रारंभिक आदेशों सारे संसार में इतना लाभ हुआ है कि विषय को इसलिए बन क्योंकि साइंटिस्ट ने टाइम मेजर कर लिया साइंटिस्ट ने टाइम मेजर कर लिया एटॉमिक क्लॉक चालू एक्यूरेसी मगर अभी किसी साइकोलॉजिस्ट ने किसी साइकोलॉजिस्ट ने ह्यूमन बीइंग को मेजर नहीं किया Science saying is that a lot of work has been done in the field of evaluation, measurement, questions, and no scientists have been any human. K1 has not been measured by any any psychologist so far. Attention to what you For example, for example, the American test that we are conducting for going into the USA. That's all this we have to you appear them in them in those tests four times, you will get the same score. Your ability, so they don't measure the number of questions, they measure your ability. Your ability does not change by reading a few more books or by reading some extra pages. Your ability is a different something. So, you try that. My son appeared three times. And in here, all these events, he had the same score. Now, the score is not the number of right questions. They, they statistically interpret the score. For example, for example, 50 marks in mathematics and 50 marks in English literature. They are both 50, but 50 marks in English literature shows a lot of understanding better than 50 marks in mathematics. So you cannot equate them. So what is happening is research is are going on. And I I refer you to some research journals in measurement and evaluation. If you are interested in this topic, are you can go for I will be Yes, what Sir was saying, the evaluation is not a simple process. It is very specialized work. 
MCQ. Only one is correct. So it is also marked one or zero. Yes. The third type of question. Matching block question. Two columns are given. Match yes. is there. That is also object two. Yes. Let me I will give you example of multiple response question also. Okay? These are the other types of questions which I am not discussing because they are not being used in our school education so far. This should be enough for making a paper. So you should understand two false, one or zero. The statement is either true or false. Therefore, it is an object to question. Completely object. No personal opinion. Multiple choice questions are also object to questions. One and zero. But in this, there can be three choices. Four choices. Five choices. <coughs> Etc. Why we use four? I will let you know. Why we use four? There's a reason for this. Matching block, you know, the column A in the column B, then A with B. You are familiar with this. Yes, yes. Multiple response is a variation of multiple choice question. I will give you an example of this. That means all these questions are completely objective. Now we go to the other type of questions which are not objective. That means there will be opinion of the examiner in marking them. For example, a completion type of question. Put a word. Indra Gandhi. If I write this spelling wrong, the examiner has freedom to give me a mark or not give me a mark. So, simplest example is completion type of Okay. After this, this is completion. After this very short answer question. Very short answer question. Ohm's law states relationship between voltage and current. Very short answer. Answer is one word, two words, and not two words. Four words. But more number of words, that means the examiner has more reason to give you right or wrong. Very short answer question. You are familiar with all of these questions. Then, short answer right. You are on, you know all this. Yes, Short answer question. When you put hot water in a glass, why does it crack? Short answer. There is only one reason why it cracks. Alright, there is short answer in there. You are not supposed to write 4, 9, 6, 9, 10 lines. Next type of question is structured asset question. I am going to give examples of all of these. A 
and the last type of function, not last, is asset function, which was also what is the progress of vocational animation in India. You can write four pages. Very short answer. Very short answer. सर थिंपू अच्छा अच्छा अब ऐसा क्यों कर जीरो बार वन मार्क बिफोर स्पेलिंग एक्शन वाइज डॉक्टर यस एंड ही हैज टू नॉट टू सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर ही हैज टू सप्लाई द आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन आर एक्टिव सप्लाई टाइप एंड दिस क्वेश्चन आर सेलेक्ट On the two questions, I have to select the right answer from the given answers. Okay, so they are either right or wrong. Supply type of questions, I have to supply something from my own side. This is a simple example. There can be. Weather in Singapore is hot and humid. I have to supply two words here. One year and one year. I can supply this is right and this is wrong. This is right or this is wrong. Anything can happen. So such questions in which you have to give an answer from your own side. Resistance of a wire. Resistance of a wire 
depends on length, area, and material. All these questions can also be converted into objective questions properly. The resistance of a wire does not depend on two points, temperature. Yes or false? Yes. Yes. So there is a relation. What our aim is? Our aim is to bring objectivity in our question paper. Students are not penalized by the personal opinion or judgment of the people. That is the mantra, that is the formula. Yes, madam. Okay. This means yes or no. Problem is English, no? Any questions on this? I have given you an example of a computer type of question. All the questions in which you have to supply answer is a supply type of question. It's not an option. All the questions in which you have to give it, select the answer or option. This is the simplest definition. Anyone having any doubt? Can I go further? So, we should ask again. We ask again if anything is not clear. Completion is clear? Yes. Yes, sir. Complete this sentence. Yes, sir. It's not only sentence. Yes, force five newtons and eight newtons is acting on a point. No, sir, it is not. What is resulting? Sir, actually, it is acting outward. You have to supply in completion time. Supply the answer. So don't think that in the engineering only words, diagrams can be used. Very tricky situation. What should be the value of R so that the length of current does not increase some? Supply the answer. The point I am trying to make is that in engineering and technology, diagrams can also be used for supply type of Not only words. Okay? So, completion is out. Very short answer is out. Short answer is out. Now we come to structured as a Is you will write these questions also. We begin with the top of the questions, then we write all these types of questions because our assessment examination is not at the end. During formative classroom description, you can give these type of questions also. 
for the final examination, say hours, you can give 200 multiple choice questions. But for every day classroom testing, you can use all type of questions. All type of questions. There is no restriction. I am telling you the properties of these type of questions. Can I go ahead? We are talking about the structured essay question. A essay question is now structured into a smaller question. For example, Explain how does it start? There is a inductive kick, 1000 volts. Supply is only 200 volts. How do you get 1000 volts? Explain. Because there is a Zero. 
Then you move in this direction. Objectivity decreases. There's no objectivity here. No objectivity. These are completely objects. Sir, a SA question. Sir, a SA time question, uh, sir, maximum is how much? 1,000 bucks. It's just a rope I have. Who has to stop him? Sir, minimum? Zero. Four 
I don't want to give a lecture. When I am working with you, I will I will discuss with you. This should be done. This should not be done. Okay. So what is this? You got the uh, different groups. No, no, individually. Huh? Every person has to write for the group. No group business. Any because they need to form a like a means for the group. So I go by by the group. No, no. From me, I ask. The person who teaches plumbing will write 20 questions. Another person who teaches plumbing will write another 20 questions. <laughs> no group work. Otherwise, if there are four persons who teach plumbing, they will write only four. Okay, they have to write all the idea of the question.